Okay, hello. My last raw therapy video was a bit rambling, but it's an overview of an incredibly complicated software, so I'm going to leave it up for now. Uh, but going forward, I'm going to try to make a bit shorter, a bit more specific, a bit more useful videos. So in this video, I wanted to give you a quick overview of sharpening in raw therapy and show you a new tool that is available now in unstable development builds and is said to be coming to the next point release that will be 5.8 as of this video. I don't know if that's definitely going to happen, but personally I expect that it will. And if it's not in 5.8, it'll be sooner or later, but I wouldn't wait. I would use these unstable builds now. That's what I do. And I'm usually in Linux, but I'm in Windows now to show you. So, uh, okay. So before I show you the capture sharpening, I'll just show you the basic sharpening, the uh, standard sharpening that was in raw therapy. Uh, now, okay, here we are in the basic tab. And like, I already did a few basic adjustments to this picture but like I didn't get too involved because I'm only doing this to show the sharpening so I'm going to click over to the details tab here sharpening is right at the top and it says here one one you have to be zoomed in to a hundred percent or more to be able to see the effects of this tool and uh this picture like the details in it are pretty sharp I took this with a sharp lens oh says there i'm going to turn it off anyway this info but uh i took this picture with a sharp lens and uh you can see that the front of this piece of lichen here is not really in focus but everything else is pretty good that i want to be in focus is sharp and uh i'm just going to click on the standard sharpening here now and it's set to unsharp mask there are two methods i'll click it on and it gives it an unsharp mask and I find the default settings are usually pretty good but I do often tweak them now my way of doing things I mean has usually been to use on a low ISO picture I would usually use a high amount and a low radius for sharpening that's you know my standard way that I would do when I used to use Lightroom and stuff and uh that worked pretty good and then if the picture is high ISO I might use a higher radius and a lower amount uh, this picture is 800 ISO and it's on a full frame camera so it's kind of on the verge of being high ISO but it's not really that noisy so I wouldn't go with the high radius on this but I've learned that with the sharpening and raw therapy like I said, the default settings look pretty good, but I've learned that you can actually go a lot higher on the amount than I would in, say, Lightroom. Like, I, I can go up to around 400, and it doesn't look that bad, right? Now, on the sharpening, you've got your out-of-focus areas, too. Up here, there's a contrast threshold, and when sharpening is activated, and you're zoomed into 1-1, one, one, you can... uh click on this focus mask oh sorry not the focus mask I always do that you can click on the sharpening contrast mask and you can see what will be sharpened in white and what won't be sharpened in black and it defaults to a setting of 20 but you can tweak that and turn it off for a second yeah let's uh, turn it up a little bit because some of those things don't need to be sharpened and let's see our, our sharp area again yeah it still looks fine let's turn off the contrast masks oh I forgot down here this is a see down here you can open a detail window and you can like place where it is see it over here and I could open another detail window let me see let me go to somewhere out of focus I'll open another detail window and I'll place it like here where we've got stuff that's out of focus and partly out of focus and now I can drag around in the detail window. So now I can go back to uh, my full view and still do sharpening on the and look at these detail windows. You can open up a bunch of these too if you want, right? So anyway, I've set my contrast threshold 
blur radius I usually don't touch, but like, you know, I probably should look into it. The more you get involved with this, the better results you can get. I'm going to turn the radius up a little bit because I'm not seeing any artifacts really. I'm seeing a little bit here, but nothing that I would be concerned. Uh, maybe, maybe turn that threshold up a bit. Maybe turn the amount down a bit. Anyway, it's looking pretty good. And you can turn on halo control. I find in this picture it's not making much difference, but I often do turn on halo control, just reduce the halos. And there's an amount for that if you want to tweak how strong the effect is. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with this. And uh, I find that the sharpening in raw therapy, the standard unsharp mask, has been better than the sharpening in Lightroom for me. Noise reduction, not so much, but that's another video, and I found a way to make that work better than Lightroom too. And so that's my next video. I'll be showing you the best way to do noise reduction in raw therapy. But anyway, that's the unsharp mask. Moving on, there's another method for sharpening in raw therapy. RLD convolution. That's Richardson Lucy sharpening. And let's just click that on. Now this works best for pictures that are a bit blurry or a bit out of focus. Let's zoom in so we can get a better view. You can see it's it's bringing in artifacts here. Well, it's not that bad, but it is bringing in artifacts a lot more than the unsharp mask. And that's because this picture is sharp. Uh, I don't have a blurry picture on hand here really to demonstrate this, but if you try out this RLD convolution sharpening on um, pictures that have a slight amount of maybe they're very very slightly out of focus or they just have a bit of blur from the lens or maybe a bit of blur from your color filter array or your uh, what do they call anti-aliasing filter or maybe even a very slight amount of motion blur not much it can't do miracles but it can fix pictures that are slightly blurry and with this RLD convolution you set the radius there's a correct amount for the radius for every picture so you have to play with the radius and then you can tweak the amount and it's I would never use it for this picture because this picture isn't blurry like you usually use this to to fix pictures that are slightly unsharp you know but I have got it set up here to where it's sharpening this picture without bringing in much artifacts but I wouldn't use it for this, I'd use the unsharp mask. Try this RLD convolution on pictures that are slightly blurry. Uh, if you had a picture with a blue sky like this one you see up here, I'm not going to demonstrate it now, but if you had a picture with a blue sky, you start sharpening and you see artifacts, sharpening artifacts in the blue sky, you can tweak the contrast threshold until the blue sky is black and that should reduce it but also go over to the raw tab and activate one of these dual demosaicing methods these are new in one of the new updates activate a maze plus vng4 and that gives you the best aspects of a maze with the best aspects of vng4 and it does seem to have a slight slightly better handling of uh, both sharpening and noise artifacts so um, if you're having trouble with your sharpening and noise reduction settings, uh, artifacts or whatnot, definitely try one of the dual demosaicing methods, particularly this Amaze plus VNG4 for most pictures. Uh, so being done with the sharpening that's in raw therapy now, and having given you the, the little dual demosaicing tip, I want to show you this new uh, capture sharpening. So I'm going to disable my unsharp mask sharpening now we were happy with that I was happy with that anyway I found it better than what I was using before which is Lightroom let's enable capture sharpening now and there it is capture sharpening takes a minute to kick, kick in now let's go back to when we had the unsharp mask over on the left this history panel you can click back to 
any of the adjustments that you've made and click back to before them to compare, right? So let's click back and forth between capture sharpening. Yeah, the capture sharpening to me is smoother and sharper, but uh, the effect is subtle. The earlier iteration of capture sharpening that I tried had a much stronger, more noticeable effect, but I did often end up having to turn it down. Uh, so with the capture sharpening, there's contrast threshold radius, and they're set to auto, and you have to untick this box to adjust them. I find the default is working here, so I'm not going to adjust it. But if you uncheck these boxes, and then if you've adjusted it, and you want to go back to the default, uh, just click back and then reselect auto. And it will end up back. See, it ends up back at its auto setting. In fact, I'm going to turn I'm going to turn up the the radius a little bit there because I find this isn't doing bad anything bad to my picture here. Um, and the other thing that's new in this new iteration, because I've this is the second one I've tried. You can set the iterations. I'm going to leave that at the default. Uh, there is no information about this on Rawpedia yet, which uh, Rawpedia click up here. Rawpedia is where you get all your information about how to use raw therapy and you have to read it if you're going to use it. Read it. But this isn't in there yet because this isn't in raw therapy officially yet. Uh, and it's got corner radius boost. So like, let's look at the corner and we could uh, boost the sharpening radius in the corner. Now my corners in this are all out of focus areas. So I don't want to boost the corner radius of the sharpening but if you had a uh, in focus stuff in your corners you could boost the radius uh, especially if the lens is not resolving as much in the corners as it is in the center you might boost the corner radius but you can also do a negative effect for corner radius which I'm gonna do here because that way I won't I even with the contrast threshold. Even with the contrast threshold, I won't be uh, sharpening out of focus areas. Uh, I mean, this works in addition to the contrast threshold to stop me sharpening these out of focus corners. So anyway, that's it. That's the new capture sharpening that is coming ought to be coming to Raw Therapy 5.8, and it's available in the Unstable Development Builds right now. The link is below, and the next video coming soon is going to be noise reduction in Raw Therapy. I've found a killer method, so stay tuned for that. Cheers.